Question number nine, the name of Deputy Sean Coy. Uh, thank you, uh, Ken Corla. Um, I'm seeking information, Minister, on the current position of the provision of a new health uh, facility for the island of Inishbofin. As you're aware, aware Minister, island communities face unique challenges uh, different than uh, mainland uh, communities. And I visited the island recently and I have to say that the, the building is in a poor state. Indeed, I spoke to a retired public health nurse who stated that uh, the facility, in her words, was awful was cold uh, and not suitable for serving the public. So I'm just looking for uh, a, an updated position on uh, when uh, a new facility will be provided for the island community. Thank you. Minister. And the construction of a new health centre on Inishbofin was identified as a priority for the provision of health services under the CLAR programme uh, to the island population in 2003. The Department of Community, Rural and Great Health Affairs, with responsibility for the islands at that time, indicated that there was support for the Inish Boffin project under the 2004-2005 programme. The then Western Health Board, now HSE West, undertook to advance the project as the main stakeholder by procuring a, uh, and appointing a design team. The project was developed and planning permission was granted in November 2008. However, co-funding remained an issue, and to date, the Department of Arts, Heritage and the Grailtox, which now has responsibility for the islands, has not agreed to co-fund the project on Inchbof. Nevertheless, the HSE has continued to try to progress matters by endeavouring to secure the proposed site by purchasing required additional land adjoining the current site. The Estates Department in HSE West is actively pursuing the acquisition of the adjoining site, and once this has been concluded, a request for co-funding for the project will be sent to the Development of Arts, Heritage and the Grailtox. Meanwhile, an extension to the current planning permission for a further five years is being sought. Thank you. Deputy Coyne. response, and I'm uh, delighted that an extension has been sought for the planning permission. Um, you, you stated it's been identified since 2003. That's a, a huge delay, 10 years. It's hard to believe um, that a, a facility is badly needed as, as that on an island community in, in such a poor state that we would have this, uh, this length of delay. Um, so I, I'd have to see that there is progress been made, but I would like to see that progress been, been, been rushed and also that um, in the event that co-funding isn't, isn't found within the Department of Arts, Surgeon, to get it, the HSC might be able to look at that within their own budgets because this facility is needed and I think some, some deal needs to be done. It's unfortunate that the island community would fall between two stewards in terms of funding, in terms of uh, two, two, uh, two bodies, with neither of them taking full control and then being able to possibly blame the other uh, for, for, for something that's not, not for, for, the, for the project not going ahead. So again, I'd welcome that, uh, what the Minister has, has, has uh, identified here today and ask him to continue to pursue with the, with the HSC uh, Thank that, you. that project. Minister. Makes some very reason, reasonable points there, particularly <coughs> with regard to the, as it were, the delay since 2003 in this matter being resolved. So I take very much um, uh, on board what the, the Deputy has said. Um, I thank him for um, raising this matter with his usual assiduousness and we'll certainly pursue the matter as he has requested us to do. Thank you.